Okay, here we are in the beautiful VTOL uh, with clouds and the sunset, well, sunrise in fact. Um, just going to do a quick mission here. Uh, so, battery on, APU on. A little bit more complex starting the helicopter up. Close the, close the window. Just got the jet there, going freeze there. Onto the runway to take off. We'll watch that as we come up. We are up. Engine start left. Let's get this on. Uh, we need. No, we need this. Hello, have I got the wrong camera on? Ooh. No, I think we have, yes. Let me just, uh, that's better, sorry about that, just saw a little camera pop up in front of me. Okay, so we've got uh, AWACS over there, and we've got the, uh, the jet's got to go before him, he's got to go on the uh, taxi. Yeah. Anyway, what was I doing? Turning the other engine on. So battery on, APU on, one engine on, let it come up, second engine on, you need to put this at idle. That'll bring the revs up. Uh, we got a brake rotor. We'll turn that off. These diesel start spinning up. So there he goes down the uh, down the runway. We'll drop our uh, headset. Right. So as that's coming up, we've got both engines coming up. No, we haven't. Right engine, can we have right engine please? It's better. Um, tads. Tads, can I turn it on? It's usually down here. Oh, the middle up here. Okay. You on. RWR on. I think. We are ready to go. Tower, this is Alpha 1 1. Request takeoff over. Copy. Taxi to runway 1 5. No, we're a helicopter. We don't taxi. Come on. Rotor speed not up yet. Now she's in the green and we are up. Spin ourselves out of this away. Point our nose down. Zoom out on here. And head out across the trees. Just let me check my. Uh, still a bit bright, but they've uh, added granulation on here and also white phosphor. Which seems to be white blue. Okay, so got a few things that we can uh, that we need to do here let's just turn the hood on always helps oh, Star Wars uh, a few things to do here okay, so the bad guys started sending troops into the area and it looks like they're setting up little caps for their VTOL jets to bring up and refuel we were able to catch an early so they aren't fully operational yet they don't have much beyond small arms so you should be able to wipe them out no problem the first one's deep in these woods by the foothills Okie dokie. Turn the uh, APU off, I don't think we need that anymore. Watch where you're going. Okay, so that's us up and about. Um, on the hood, there's a lot of information um, which wraps all the way around you. The square there that I'm, I'm wobbling my uh, star on, that's how I waypoint that's our target that we can see on here as well so that is that okay, we're currently whizzing along at 130 knots uh, 730 feet above the ground as with everything with VTOL it's very easy to read everything everything's made from the ground up for um, VR. They're getting real bold coming 
program on this side of the mountain range. I haven't seen them this far in years. Let's remind them to keep their hands to themselves. Okay, putting yeah, that on S on the Y. You're about to wander onto the other side of that tall ridge. They've got a huge network of air defenses and won't hesitate to send a fighter or three to intercept you. Roger that. So, I've gone on SOI, which is screen of interest, which means with my right thumb stick, I can, uh, sorry, with my left thumb stick, I can move the camera around. As you can see, I can do other things as well. Like, I zoom in uh, and put in different uh, sensor modes. I'm putting night mode at the moment. It's quite dark down there over the trees. See if we pick up anything on the thermals or the night vision. So I've got a bit of a hill here in front of me. What I want to do is go around the back of it and move on to him. The sun's behind me. I need a bit of light. Again, the camera is going to track onto here because I've got it on waypoint, which is that. So the camera's automatically tracking where they are, or roughly where they are, because we don't know exactly where they are. Okay, I'm going to go on to here, AP, which is autopilot stuff, which will make, make it possible for me to go into like a, a hover or altitude hold and things like that. <clears throat> RWR has just kicked up on this plane here. Very smooth on the controls here. Everything is hand controlled, including the sticks. There ain't no hot ass on it. If you haven't played it before, um, it actually works really, really, really well. Okay, so I'm going to get my uh, throttle here and have a look around. But Okay, pressing the hold of the trigger gives me a lock. Pressing the A button, fires. Let that go down. I've got a feeling that is the little encampment. So we're going to drop a bit of height and some speed off because we're getting close to what we need to see. Okay, that 145 should be going in any second. There it goes. Okay, rockets alive. They're firing back at our air base. We've got one down on the launcher. Not a lot I can do about those. There we go. Still there, still there. No, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. We are going to go into uh, hover mode here. To touch screen, hold altitude, and then I'm going to go and have a look, see what I can see. If anything. Okay, the rocket launch is out. Yeah, zoom out a bit. Targeting mode. Picture in picture? No. Colour? No. Date? There. I've got something on there that's marked in red. Switching to guns. Switching my sensor over to night. There's something down there. Zoom in a bit. There? No. Found you. Okay. Let's just give this a little, a little peppering. Hovering out, which is always a bit awkward. Okay, we 
we are swapping back over to AGM 45s. On away. Okay. Dropping in there. What else can we see? Let's do a, a pass over it and uh, get a better angle. Nothing locking on. That's it. to waypoint that's locked on let's put that on uh, colour looks pretty looks pretty so there's three missions uh, on this that's the first one second one is up in the mountains and the third one's over in those mountains we're just going to do the first one on this mountain run um, and leave it at that I really I just wanted to have a look at the uh, time of day and clouds and how it's uh, operating. Uh, this is a standard mission in the game, not a user created one. Um, when you're in the armament section where you're loading the helicopter out with what you're going to take, on your left panel, it says looking, it's not there, but on the left panel it'll say customize. When you hit that, it opens up a window um, and you can pick what weather you want and what time of day you want. And that will overlay that onto whatever mission you, uh, you're going into in whatever ever aircraft. So I think I started this at possibly seven, six, six, six in the morning or something like that. So it's a little bit dark, but again we've got our uh, trusty night vision which is getting absolutely blasted out because it's not that dark let's, uh, let's give you a bit of a different view while we're going up here you can have some random views random I say there you go random So we head down this valley, then we're going to hang a left and up the other valley. Hello, Mum. I got let go of the bush stick. There you go. Okay, we're at uh, 140 knots now. Um, get rid of this a minute. No, oh, gosh, wrong button. Try that one. So, yeah, we're at 160 knots now at uh, 850 feet. Hauling a booty. Booty. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to put this video out and within 10 seconds Exila uh, is going to put out the uh, the Escort mod on AMS2 because as I left to set this video up uh, Rocky was on 20 of 22 skins um, <laughs> so I've not looked at the Mercedes from Thunder Flash yet that is part of the same series um, yeah sure they do it on purpose he's just waiting he's just waiting he said I was going to post a video up on the Merc because I wasn't waiting anymore because I'm impatient you know as we all are 1.6 fever um, yes <laughs> send me a message <laughs> not to so hmm we'll see we'll see this is just 
there was clouds originally with the game but they were absolutely tanking PCs to run um, so he's done a lot of work on them and uh, my little 1080 Ti is absolutely loving them no issues at all even though I'm recording this with all these weird and wonderful viewing angles on the same PC it's getting a workout so we're just going to go up to where uh, there's a tree line coming up um, so we're just going to go up to there in fact I'll bring you back in give you a big field of view now the dogs are barking get rid of this get this back on the tads so we're heading up this valley now um, some trees up there just put the crosshairs on it there we're just going to park up up there and uh, cause chaos in the valley on the other side that's the plan anyway now if you play this multiplayer the guy down in front won't be AI you can have your, your friend in or a random in there I can actually switch seats with that button over there if I put it in hover I can jump over to there and he's got a whole different set of controls he's the uh, he's the gunman as it is as it were as it was as it ever could be but yeah he's got some fancy uh, viewing stuff with double handles for the for the guns for targeting stuff um, and it is in the case of if you're doing multiplayer in this especially with the jets and this and that one person flies and does everything the other person sits there and twiddles his phones you're both you're both busy um, which is good you've both got plenty to do more than plenty to do okay so I'm just uh, bringing the nose up and just working the collective just to uh, come to a halt just over this ridge uh, I'm going to put it into hover when I get up there watching the camera because the cameras are on top of the rotors and when it can see over this ridge line that's all I need really to start looking for targets uh, somebody is somebody is now home <laughs> so ignore her who must be obeyed talking to me Okay, so I'll just zoom in here, try and find what we're looking for. Back on the waypoint. There it is. That's Outpost Bravo. Looks like they have a few vehicles parked up there, but no real resistance. Destroy anything you see. Cause absolute mayhem. In fact, what we can do is, if I just twist on here, I'll just show you the other seat. So we're in hovering altitude, nothing's moving. We've got a couple of guys moving towards those four sharks. If those things are operational, you're going to want to take them out before they take off. See, I've got a much better view here. This is what we want. My box screen of interest. I can actually see a bit better here. And I can fire from here as well. Murder, death, kill. Okay, switching to guns. So if I call up my objectives over here, um, it's two left. Answers on the question card, can I just not see them from this angle? I'm just going to pepper pot the area. That's how long it's taken for my rounds to get down there.
see if we get a lock on anything. Hopefully the two guys are standing next to each other that I've just locked onto. Yeah, they are. Target left. Okay, all targets destroyed. We've got one last thing for you. You haven't. I have some activity in the high bounds, and it's got us a little worried. It's probably nothing but what's drinking out while you're out in the area. Just fly to the waypoint, and we'll give you some further instructions when you get there. There you go. A bit of you for you. Hang on, oops, come out there. Come here. Go that. Switch back my seat. Hi mum, how you doing? Right, so that was it, quick look again at the, uh, so let me get hold of the camera, at the uh, lovely clouds, uh, the sun's come up a bit further now so we haven't got the lovely red mountains as much, but yeah, there you go, a bit of a Tuesday a VTOL, and there's the there's no pointer anywhere. You see, there's no pointer. I moved it for you. <laughs> right. Adios.